Lesson 17 Entering Transactions In this chapter, we'll discuss about entering the purchase, sale, purchase return, sale return and payment receipt transactions. Transactions are basically day-to-day -day entries which are carried out on daily basis like you enter a sale bill, a purchase bill or the payment you have received or the payment you have made. So all this we'll discuss in this chapter. Till now we have discussed about the configuration of company, configuring various features and options that we will use in the company. We have created various masters like our party master, bank master, various items in which we deal. But in this chapter, we'll discuss how you can use all these features and options and the masters that you have created in your day-to-day -day transactions. We have categorized transactions in various vouchers like sale, purchase, payment, receipt and others. In this chapter, we'll discuss only the sale, purchase, purchase return, sale return, payment and receipt vouchers. So first of all, we'll discuss the purchase transaction. Here we'll go to the transactions menu and you can see a complete list of the vouchers appearing here. These are all the vouchers provided in the basic edition of the busy. So first of all, we'll start with the purchase voucher. That is we have purchased certain goods and we are making entry for it. On selecting the purchase option, you can see three options are appearing add, modify and list. These are same as we have discussed in the master that is add is for adding a new transaction. Modify using modify option, you can modify or edit any existing transaction and using list option, you can view the list of vouchers you have already entered. So we'll create a new voucher by going to purchase add option. First of all, select the series. The concept of series we have discussed a bit in the voucher numbering chapter. We'll select the main series here. That is by default only the main series is created at the time of company creation. Next, enter the voucher date. That is the build date on which you are entering this voucher and on pressing the enter key on the date field, a stock updation date window will appear. If you remember, we have discussed the stock updation date in the features option inventory tab in our earlier chapter. Stock updation date basically refers to the date on which stock is updated, that is stock is received or stock is moved out. It is possible that build date is different and stock updation date is also different. So you need to specify the stock updation date, that is the date on which stock is received. It can be same to purchase bill date also or it can be different. Next is voucher number. If you remember in our previous chapter, we have set the voucher numbering to manual for the purchase voucher. So here we are entering a voucher number ourselves. Next is purchase type. Very important. Here we are selecting the purchase type as VAT 5% T that is VAT 5% taxable. This means that in this transaction, we are using only a single tax rate of 5%. That is the item which we will be using in this purchase voucher is taxable at the rate of 5%. Next, select the party. That is the party from whom you have purchased the goods. Material center, the material center where the goods have been received. Then if you want to enter, you can enter any narration for the voucher. And then we are selecting the item. We have selected Samsung 265 liter refrigerator. Enter the quantity you have purchased. Unit is appearing by default. Purchase price is appearing by default. This busy has picked from the item master. And then we are applying the bill sundry of VAT at the rate of 5%. As this item is taxable at the rate of 5%, so busy has calculated 5% tax on the item's amount. On the left hand side, you can see the tax summary also. Now we'll click the save button to save this voucher. On clicking the save button, an allocate additional expenses window is appearing. This window appears only if you have enabled the feature of allocate additional expenses and features option inventory tab. Here you can specify any additional expenses that you have made on this purchase and you can enter the narration for the same. Click OK button. Then next a VAT reporting details window is appear in which you can specify the original purchase bill number. If you mention the same bill number in your voucher that you have received from your party, then uh, you do not have to change it. Otherwise, if you follow your own numbering system for the purchase voucher and the voucher number you have received on your bill is different, then you can specify the same here. Then is purchase bill, bill date and any description of item. Click OK button. Next, a bill by bill adjustment of amount window is appearing in which we'll create a new reference for this transaction. In the method field, we'll select the new reference option, then we'll specify the reference number. By default, the voucher number is your reference number. You can change it as per your requirement, then the amount and the due date. Here we are specifying the due date as 1st February. If you have specified the credit days for sale or purchase with this party, credit days for purchase basically for this party, then due date would have appeared automatically. 
now this is our purchase transaction next we will enter a sales transaction we'll go to sales add options select the series specify the voucher date and then the stock updation date that is the date on which the goods are moved out from the go down or the material center voucher number you can see voucher number is appearing automatically as voucher numbering is set to automatic for the sales voucher for the main series and then is sale type we are selecting the vat item wise t that is in this voucher there could be multiple tax rate or there could be items of exempt also along with some taxable item so on selecting the vat item wise option you can specify the vat rate along with each item we'll see here how we will specify the vat rate with each item next we will select the party material center select the item specify the quantity unit price on pressing the enter key on the amount field you can see item wise vat window is appearing which is showing the tax rate as 5% as this is the same tax rate we have specified in the item master so this item is taxable at the rate of 5% next we are selecting the item glen burner store on pressing the enter key on the amount field again item wise vat window is appearing which is showing the tax rate as 0 as this is an exempt item so no tax will be charged on this item if we open the item master in modify mode you can see with the samsung refrigerator item 5% tax category is specified with the glen burner stove no tax is specified as this is an exempt item when you select the sale type as vat item wise then you do not need to enter any bill sundry for the vat because we have specified the vat rate along with the each item at the left hand side of the voucher you can see the tax summary that is 5% is charged only on the first item samsung refrigerator and no tax is charged on the second item glen burner store now click save button to save the voucher on clicking the save button basically is asked do you want to print the invoice click yes button then we are selecting the standard format and clicking the preview button now basically is showing that standard format is not yet configured do you want to configure it now click the yes button and you can make any changes in the standard configuration and now you can see the preview of the invoice on the screen it's showing complete details of the transaction Next we are entering one more sales voucher select the series specified date stock updation date then the sale type here we are selecting the sale type as vat multi rate taxable that means again in this there would be multiple tax rates so difference between the item wise sale type and multi rate is that in item wise you need to specify the vat rate along with each item in case of multi rate you will specify the different rates of bills and rates that is vat 5% or any other vat rate and basically will automatically pick that uh, which tax rate is to be applied on which item this basically will pick from the tax category specified in the item master next select the party select the material center here first we are entering the item samsung refrigerator then next we are selecting the item glen burner stove now in the bill sundry section we have applied the vat bill sundry at the rate of 5% Busy, you can see has calculated 5% tax rate only on the first item, that is only on the 1100 amount. It has not calculated 5% tax on the second item because second item is our exempt item. There would have been another bill sundry, say for 10%, then Busy would have calculated 10% only on the item in which tax category for the 10% has been specified. One more advantage of multi-rate sale type is that if you apply any discount in the bill sundry, then that amount would also have been included or deducted from the items amount, and then the rate of VAT is calculated on the item. Click save button to save the voucher. Now, if you want, you can print the invoice also, and you can have a look at the preview of the invoice. Next, we are entering one more sales transaction. Here again, select the series, specify the date. and we are selecting the sale type as vat tax inclusive t this means the tax amount has been included in the item amount select the party select material center next we are selecting the item on pressing the enter key on the amount field and item wise tax information window is appearing which is showing that this amount includes 5% vat so busy has done a reverse calculation that is it has segregated the items price and the vat amount from the total amount we have specified in the item grid the left hand side of the voucher you can see the tax rate taxable rate and the vat amount approximately 1110 is your taxable rate and 55 is your vat rate this is the concept of tax inclusive that is tax is already included in the amount that you have specified with the item it does a reverse calculation to aggregate the items price and the vat amount 
click save button to save the voucher here again we are creating a reference for this transaction and then busy is asking to print the invoice it's up to you you want to print the invoice or not so we are clicking the no button here next we are entering a purchase return transaction that is the purchase we have made we are returning some goods from it that maybe the goods are defected or not as per our requirement so we are entering a purchase return transaction specify the series date on which you are returning the goods select the purchase type that is item is taxable at 5% select party on pressing the enter key on the party field and original purchase detail window will appear in which you need to specify the original voucher number and the voucher date that is the voucher number and date of the purchase voucher to which this item originally belongs if you do not remember the details you can click the purchase voucher list button and you can view the list of the purchase vouchers and select the required voucher against which you are making the return next select the item specify the quantity you are returning enter the vat bill sundry and click save button to save the transaction on clicking the save button a bill by bill adjustment of amount window is appearing here we'll select a method as adjustment and we'll select the reference that we have created in the purchase voucher and specify the amount this amount will basically be deducted from that reference amount because this item we have returned next we are entering a sales return transaction specify the series date sale type party again original sales detail window appears here we'll specify the original voucher number of the sales voucher and the voucher date this is required basically to validate the original sales detail if you have enabled the feature of validate sale return purchase return with original sale purchase then if you specify some different details we will show a message that these details are not matching select the item specify the quantity price and then apply the vat bill sundry again on clicking the save button a bill by bill adjustment of amount window is appearing here we'll select the reference that we have created in the original sales voucher and we'll adjust this amount in that particular transaction next we are entering a payment voucher that is payment we have made to our parties so here we are selecting the series entering the voucher date here we are selecting the party required party to which we are making the payment that is bright electricals specify the amount on pressing the enter key on amount field bill by bill adjustment of amount window is appearing here we'll select the reference which is created in the purchase transaction against which we are making the payment you can see the due date is 1st february and we are making the payment on 31st january here we are adjusting the complete amount it is also possible that you are making partial payments and you can accordingly adjust the partial amount and that amount will be deducted from the reference amount next we are crediting the bank account if you want you can enter check number also in the short narration field click save button to save the voucher next we are entering the reserved voucher that is the payment we have received from our parties select series specify date we are crediting the arshi enterprises party specify the amount again a bill by bill adjustment of amount window is appearing here we are adjusting this amount to the reference we have created at the time of sale so this is again complete adjustment of amount next we are debiting the bank account specifying the check number here in the long narration field we have pressed the f4 key to select the standard narration that we have already created you can see the list of standard narration is appearing select the required standard narration here only one is appearing as we have we have created only one standard narration so we have selected the standard narration and click save button to save the receipt transaction So this is all we have to discuss in this chapter that is we have discussed the transactions of sale purchase purchase return sale return payment and receipt at the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise you can view the exercise on screen and attempt it hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily enter these transactions that is sale purchase payment receipt purchase return sale return in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel